Hello and welcome to my studio. One of my patrons asked me how to add texture to a leaf, so I am going to show you very quickly how I am going to add a bit of texture to this oak leaf in the green and the brown areas. And I'm going to start with the green here with a green mix which is going to be slightly brighter than the color I already have. In fact, I'm going to use pure sap green, the Royal Talents Rembrandt one. And I am going to... I'm using a very old scruffy brush because I really want the hairs to split so that I get an uneven texture like this. And I'm just brushing it over the green area. So you can see how badly I'm treating this brush. It's not a brush that I use to paint my wet and wet washes anymore. It's a very old brush, it's very scruffy already. So it can't get much worse and in order to do this texture thing, the scruffier the better. So it's just building up a little bit of colour but less smoothly than the wet in white washes and you can see that it's adding some texture to the leaf a little bit rough compared to the washes that were before and because I'm using a pure colour it's building up that texture without neutralising, without making the colour more muted but the muted green which is underneath, in which I had mixed a little bit of my red to mute it down, is still shining through because it's a broken texture I'm adding. It's a broken texture with a transparent colour, so whatever is underneath is going to show through. And you can see by adding that texture, it's looking a little bit more 3D. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, but with some brown this time bit of burnt sienna and again I need to ruffle my bristles and add some colour add a bit of texture to this dry leaf and if you find you've added too much texture you can use a soft brush so I've got my Neptune here, Princeton Neptune which I really like for this it's a faux squirrel so it's very soft and I need to add a bit more of the golden yellow one here. So I'm just going to wet half of that leaf with my very soft brush so I'm not disturbing anything. But if you've added a bit too much texture that will loosen it up a little bit. And then while that's wet, I'm adding some of the golden yellow which is nickel as a yellow. Unevenly, I don't want an even wash because I still want my texture to be there and it's adding some colour leaving that slightly rough dry brush work that I have just done and this is how you add a bit of texture to a leaf now you go and have a try and you can let me know in the comments below how you got on Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon in another video. Happy painting, bye!